I'm going to start building a new application and I'm going to go over a few use cases right here. So let's say I'm building an e-commerce web application. So I'll just give it a project name, give it a quick version number. And then what you notice is that this platform actually allows you to select the type of application you're trying to build. And then kind of gives you that pre-decisioning effort. So whether you want to start from scratch, whether you want to leverage some predefined architectural patterns or actually import diagrams that already exist in any other shape or format, be it Visio or TMT. For this e-commerce, what I felt was that, you know, I wanted some authentication process to be pre-built and my organization apparently has an authentication process which is pre-approved, which I can simply leverage to kickstart my threat modeling process for this particular web application. So as you can notice, like without actually putting time and effort in actually recreating or reinventing the wheel every time, Threat Modeler through its templates is allowing you to basically jumpstart your process with these pre-approved design patterns already identified for you. And from that point on, it's simply a drag and drop exercise. So in my e-commerce application, I need a products page. So I'll simply go ahead, identify the next piece of the process. Then I have a checkout page. So I'll go ahead and add that to the process as well. And then from that point on, it's simply linking the two. How is a user going to flow from point A to point B is through these communication protocols that have been identified. But as and when I'm building this threat model, I want to get granular. So in my forgot password, what I can do is I can start to identify design features within that particular page. So what you're seeing right now is I'm going to select widgets, which is the design feature of this particular page. I'm going to say this is an HTML form, which is linked to a backend database. Getting granular with your information from whatever piece of information you currently know of what your application can look like. And then associate certain data elements, kind of capturing, all right, if a user is uh, restoring this password, what type of information is required? And that's exactly what Threat Modeler needs. And once all of this is done, once your Threat Model is ready for you, you can start to get into the review phases where the Threat Intelligence is populated contextually depending on the number of pieces, basically the granularity, the functionality of the components within the diagram you've identified. So now because I have form inputs on the login, forgot password and registration, I can basically see SQL injection as threats and then what those mitigating procedures can be to mitigate those threats. And similarly, I can get a view of my security requirements. What do I need to implement to make sure my application is secure? 